But the wine replied, Perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other babies came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Remains unsettled. 
are unknown to any of us. Hence, the need to prepare. St. Paul, in the second reading of today, addresses this issue of death. He speaks of it that the Christians may not be ignorant of it, so that we do not stay and just stay like other persons who do not have hope of death, who do not have a hope that they are looking at that after death. So St. Paul addresses us Christians that for us, in death, we find hope. In the loss of the finite life, we find eternal life. In the loss of mortality, we find immortality. This is our Christian faith. This is our belief. And this is the hope that Christians have after death. Sometimes I just sit and wonder why it is the case that whenever a person is born, the family is happy. Or the baby is crying, crying endlessly. However, when the person dies, the story becomes different. The person stays still while the family begins to cry. It is a sign that where we are coming from is a good place, and where we are going to after death is indeed a good place. How, therefore, do we attain a position in this place, in this heaven that we continue to speak of? It is through the eternal vigilance, the third point of today. Eternal vigilance. The gospel of today tells us about three benefits. Ten, five, who we are wise, and five, who we are foolish. Eternal vigilance is not preparing. Eternal vigilance is being prepared. There is a difference between I am ready and I am getting ready. We are not called to be getting ready. We are called to be ready. Eternal vigilance means being spiritually awake 24 hours of the day, every day of the week, and every week of the month. This is eternal vigilance. Be conscious that you are a Christian, and whatever you are doing, you are doing for the purpose and the sake of heaven. There is a price ahead of us. Those who run on races, maybe 100 meters or 200 meters, when you look at them, it is as if something is chasing them from behind. But the truth is, nothing is chasing them by the sacrament, the life that we have lived in grace, that we have nurtured by the scriptures, the good deeds that we have done on earth. This is the world that five wise virgins had. This is that oil that affected them an entrance into heaven. Our mothers used to sing this song, which I normally, I don't know why, but I just like to recite it so that the lyrics of the song will always sing in me. And that song goes on. Oh my day, oh I will stop it there. That is, that is the point of the song. That all my it did not say that all of my name, of all of my name, of all of my name, but all of my, your own, the good deeds that you yourself have done is what gives you a position in heaven. And this is simply the reason why the wise virgins could not share the oil with the foolish virgins. And we pray today that God will give us the grace to be his worthy sons and daughters, that he may welcome us into his heavenly kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we await for Christ's second time in glory, let us pray to God our Father that we may be always watchful and keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. Thank you. 
知道。